the the how the rules change and the goalposts change for different people and for VV and stuff like that. This community needs to be consistent. Regardless of what happened from day one, I've been consistent. And this is why some people can't relate to me because their opinions are swayed by one thing or another. I'm consistently behind VV and will forever be. But I need to see some consistency from them because as consistent as I have been for VV, I'm not seeing that same consistency from VV. And nobody else in the community wants to speak about it. I will. Where's the consistency? You want to sit here and, and take forever to have cash out and to have all these things because you want to focus on laws and regulation. So you want to you want to hold withhold cash out for a year and all this type of stuff. Laws and regulations are important then, but when it comes to secretly making undercover deals with influencers in the community, now you ain't got to worry. You ain't got to suddenly wait a year for laws and regulations around that, huh? Yo, what's going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the big topic that's going on in the community. Obviously, the the influencers and stuff being paid under the table and all that. Because um, what's interesting about it is um, I, I made a video on it. I made my own video on it. We're going to be listening to um, Superstar Money's opinion on it because I want to hear their take. But from my perspective, I think that it's 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 very dangerous territory here because it, I, honestly, ever since I've worked with Quid, people are just going to say, oh, he's jealous. He's this. He's that. That's people's opinion and people's perception of me. Like, while I'm the exact same I've always been, I went after BB for losing people tens of thousands of dollars when the Discord breach happened. I've been on them for the metaverse changing. When Trevor got on, he said it was going to be something different, and that's when Dan spoke out and corrected him. Like, I've, I'm, I've been the same. I've always done the same thing, and I'm always going to do the same thing. I'm, I'm consistent. I'm very consistent even when everyone else changes, and I don't care if groups of people change together and then want to accuse it, me of being the one to change. The reality is, is the reality. As an influencer, as someone in this space, if I work with a brand, by law, I have to disclose that I'm working with a brand. I'm being paid by them. I'm being paid by them. I have to disclose this. And that, that honestly, that disclosing this is what's left me open to being attacked by my own community. Um, and, and ironically, people say, oh, he's been moving differently ever since he got that quid check. Ever since I got that quid check, I started to get attacked by my own community which then triggered in my head, bro, you don't, you're, you're far above needing this community. You don't need this community. You're getting attacked by this community that you've only ever looked out for. Start your own business. This community is actually what triggered all of this that's led to my current success right now. And yet people want to blame quit. Like, no. I got attacked by loved ones. I got attacked by fucking family. And while I'll still always love the family who attacks me, I'm, I'm not just going to sit there and take that shit. I'm me. I'm going to go and boss up from it. I'm not going to sit here and pout, cry, stay down. No. You want to kick me? I'm going to go and get it, and then I'm going to flash it in front of you just so you can see. This is what you made me become. This You you made me. You took me to another level. So th that, that's the choice that I made. But like I was saying, it's I have to legally disclose that I'm being paid by a brand. VV is paying people under the table. Is does the, is the laws different for them? Did VV disclose that these guys are getting paid? Did these guys disclose that they've been getting paid? And they have influence in this community. These people have influence in this community, yet no one is disclosing that they're 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 being paid right now. So while people are sitting here, oh, you all are just jealous. What if what happens if the law comes after them? Like, do you think that these what happens to our IP? What happens to the, all the reasons that we're invested in VV all because they want to pay people under the table? Just hire them. I don't get like disclose that you're going to pay them in this stuff. Like make it legal, make, make it public, make it known, because if you have to disclose that you're adding utility, I'm pretty sure you have to disclose that you you're you're sitting here paying influencers and in NFTs. What they're doing potentially jeopardizes the entire project. And for what? No one would have even cared if you just disclosed it. Yet people are in this community are stupid enough to try and let them slide. Instead of talking about the, the topic, which they should be talking about, they're trying to attack me, spin it around on me and things like that. And it's weird. It is weird. Get your head out of your ass and realize your investment is on the line when shit like this happens. Like, and it's like... Every time I talk about laws and shit like that, it goes right over people's head. 
If you're putting your money in something, realize that the laws can impact it. If they're doing something illegal right now, which influencers getting paid to, to, to go one way or another, and they're not disclosing that they're being paid, it is illegal. That puts everything at risk. All, that puts the IP in jeopardy. That, that leaves the brands open to scrutiny. But let's not talk about the stuff that actually matters. Let's talk about the fact that Vail out here getting money. Yes. Yes, I am. I am. Guilty as charged. So, yeah, let, let's see what um, Superstar Money got to say. Let's jump into it. I want to hear their take and their opinions on it, man. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications. Let's get it. The books. So, guys, that's uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to get into the topic. You guys have been seeing it all over Twitter. Um, shout out Javier Torres uh, for bringing this to light for people to look at. Um, it's caused a stir. This has caused a stir. All I've been seeing on Twitter is people complaining or people defending. Um, never down the middle. Um, so, we're going to talk about it, but let's read the tweet that started it all. Javier Torres, um, we know Vivi holds back collectibles. What if Vivi was then airdropping many of these to Discord mods and others as payment for services? Would you want to know? No, the money they'd cash out would be drained from our market, from our vault values, not from Vivi's end. So then he puts three options. He says ignorance is bliss. So if you don't know, who cares? Transparency is paramount. Vivi should let everybody know. Uh, but it's cool if they do it. And Vivi would never do this. So people who who thought that maybe it wouldn't happen. And that was actually the second most voted. But transparency, everyone wanted transparency. Vivi would never do this. People actually believe that. And this is this is the level of delusion that's in this community. People stick behind Vivi no matter what. And it's sad. It's sad that Vivi would do this without disclosing it. But it's it's even more sad, the blind faith that people have in, in this company. And... I'm starting to understand why I was attacked so much early on by different communities and stuff like that, because they thought that I was a person like this. They didn't realize how, just how much due diligence and digging that I actually did. They didn't realize I've actually been reading through the facts and understanding what was going to come. Like my predictions weren't predictions. I just did so much research that I saw the links to these things. So they they thought that I was just and, and now that I'm seeing that there's people like this, there's so many people like this in this community. It's opening up my eyes to 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 see how people have perceived me who just thought assumed that I was a part of this cult like mentality. I've never been a part of that. I've really been on this this VV horse and VV wave because I've done that much research and I am that confident in this project. But when when people are so blind and so foolish, they that VV can jeopardize the project as a whole and people still won't speak up about it and, and still are saying, Oh, it's okay. Still giving them the benefit of the doubt. Yet I get one payment from quid and suddenly I'm, I'm public enemy. Number one. It's like, bro, remove the VB Schmeet from your mouth, bro. Like what's going on? I can sit here and get paid one time and it's an issue, but they can pay under the table for who knows how long and no, and, and put everyone's, Vault values at risk, put everyone's like the, the IP at risk, and, and suddenly no, 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 not a problem, huh? Like people's priorities are really messed up, bro. Like people's priorities are really messed up. Like there's very few of us in this community where if VV goes to zero and this project ceases to exist, our lives are not impacted by this. People are, a lot of people are over leveraged into this project. So you should be the main ones making sure crap like this does not happen like this. Because you're the ones that that's more more likely to be hurt if something goes wrong. But <laughs> wow, who voted that? Who voted that? Spoiler oh, alert: that. If you selected option three, then congrats, you you selected a verifiably wrong answer. Below is yeah. the transaction history of a partner statue mint, which was airdropped to a Discord mod by VV. It was then instantly sold on secondary. The same wallet. Proof he instantly sold it. So proof VV sent him something. And he's they he sold it back to the community instantly. Wow. And and people are saying, oh, this is that this is jealousy. This is just no. You've been doing like you, you're a voice in this community. You're a voice in this community. And you've been making behind the scene deals with Vivi to be a voice in this community. Like I said, I have to disclose any sponsor I work with. VV sponsoring people without it being disclosed. This this is at best a gray area, at worst illegal. Wallet has received a large number of these airdrops, more of which were instantly sold off. And there are 
a lot of people in here asking questions, wanting, knowing, wanting to get to the bottom of this. Um, I mean, for me, I'm I'm not totally against Vivi rewarding uh, people who are working for their Discord or or um, helping them move forward and making things a little bit easier on the team. Uh, if they're helping the project, I mean, why not reward them? I don't think anyone is against them. I don't think anyone's against them paying people in collectibles, to be fair. Just make it known. It's the, the secret of nature, the, the risky nature of how these this is going down. Why, do, why is everyone just now finding out? And you have to use blockchain data to find out. This legally has to be disclosed. Why is it not? The community would have stuck behind Vivi no matter what. The community has blind faith in Vivi. The community can, do, like, Vivi could do anything and the community would stick behind them. So why the need for all the secrecy with something like this? Like, and, and I don't get it. I do think that the, that the right vote is here. I think transparency is paramount. I think, Vivi, you got to, like, now we got IMX. So everybody knows everything that's going on. You got a lot of smart people in this community. And you're not going to be able to hide anything from them or, or pull anything over their head or under their eyes. So we got, like, even though it's a, it's a private company, uh, if this is how you're paying employees, <laughs> it's, it's not private anymore. Um, yeah. So I think I think transparency is key, and I think that maybe this is something that I, I don't know if there is any correspondence or anything to name this reward program or whatever that's in existence before this. But if there isn't, probably a bad move not to explain it before you get uh, IMX and Immutascan up and running. What do you think, Rob? Yeah. First of all, I have a lot of things I have to say. I'm going to start off saying I agree with you. Transparency is key. This is the community that they're dealing with. The community should have as much information as they possibly can. We know Vivi holds back mints. I mean, I don't know what the community thought Vivi was doing with those mints, but I do have something to say. You know, there's a lot of moon boys around that the moment Vivi does something that maybe that they don't like, it's almost like they're hurt. They're really, really hurt. And I mean, it's very important to remember that Vivi is a private company. They literally owe you nothing. They owe us nothing. They owe literally everybody nothing all they owe you is a collectible that you pay for <laughs> and sometimes I don't know, that that doesn't even come through but all they <laughs> owe you is whatever whatever they have in their services that you when you sign up for the app and you start spending your money yeah they owe you the collectible because you bought it but they don't owe you anything for free and they don't owe anyone else anything for free they can literally give the collectibles all 50 of them if they choose to do so to themselves they could just say, I'm going to give it all to Dan or David, yeah. or I'm going to give it to Discord mods, or I'm going to give it to Vivi Vault. It doesn't matter who they give it to. They have the full decision. I would disagree there. It definitely matters because at the point where you're paying influencers under the table and it's not being disclosed, laws are being broken. Laws are being broken at that point. So... Yeah, if you're in the community, you speak on things, you have a voice, people listen to you, and you're being paid under the table and no one knows, you, you're you biased now. Like, people say that, oh, if I say good, like, any community outside of Vivi, if I say anything positive about Vivi, I'm biased because I come from Vivi. I have an incentive to, to say positive things about Vivi because that's where I'm invested. Well, these people being paid under the table, they have an incentive to, to stick, stick on VV's side no matter what as well. And people don't know that. So if they're saying things that, you know, if they're saying certain things and people are thinking they're getting honest opinions from people, when it could be flawed, like this is what I was accused of. People, like people had valid points saying they don't know where it's, where it's at with me now. Like, obviously, if you really, really know me and you've seen how I don't change and I've been just the same regardless, you know, but having an uneasy feeling where, okay, he he has an incentive to maybe lie, don't tell the, tell the full truth and stuff. I get it. I see that. But the fact that other people are not seeing the exact same things when it comes to other people, it's just, it's weird. It's very weird. And when you sign up, you have to agree to this. You don't have a choice. You don't have the private keys to your account. So you already know you have zero control over your collectible. You only have the control of your collectible that is given to you by Vivi. So why are you getting upset? that they're doing something that you don't like. You, it's fair, it's fair. They should be transparent so that everybody is playing you know, on the same page. Discord mods are getting all the extra collectibles above, above the 40. They're using them as payments, they're being sold off. 
The, the money's coming from the people, not from VV directly. VV co- just cost them, as part of minting all of them, it cost them. <laughs> and also, by the way, like, let's talk about the fact that these are called volunteers. Who wouldn't be volunteering? Like, volunteers that's getting paid? Like, they're getting paid. Like, anybody, you tell them they're getting a partner statue out of the deal. How many How many more volunteers we going to have, bro? Like, you got so many people out here talking about they're doing this from the heart. Yeah, people are getting partner statues. What? I, I I'm trying to do it from the heart. Like, like what you mean? Like, <laughs> bro, it, it's just the the how the rules change and the goalposts change for different people and for VV and stuff like that. This community needs to be consistent, regardless of what happened from day one. I've been consistent. And this is why so many people can't relate to me because their opinions are swayed by one thing or another. I'm consistently behind VV and will forever be, but. I need to see some consistency from them because as consistent as I have been for VV, I'm not seeing that same consistency from VV. And nobody else in the community wants to speak about it. I will. Where's the consistency? You want to sit here and, and take forever to have cash out and to have all these things because you want to focus on laws and regulation. So you want to you want to hold withhold cash out for a year and all this type of stuff. Laws and regulations are important then, but when it comes to secretly making undercover deals with influencers in the community, now you ain't got to worry. You ain't got to suddenly wait a year for laws and regulations around that, huh? That 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 can happen immediately. Consistency. This community needs to demand consistency and not hate it, because that's the thing. People hate consistency. I've been consistent. People hate it. But I guess whatever they're going to pay anyways, and literally they did it for free. They're giving this them. It costs VV nothing and it costs just the community. So I understand why people are upset, but they can do that. They could do whatever they want. I just want to remind people of a couple of videos we made previously. One of them, <laughs> VV might steal your collectibles. Okay. This focused on the terms of services that after two years. So, so they're taking the approach where it's like, okay, we all agree that they can do this to us. We all agree that they can screw us. The thing is, yes, we all agreed to it. We definitely agreed to it. But no one thought that these were the type of people who would actually abuse that trust that we gave them. That's what it comes down to. The community is disappointed because they trusted a team who then used that trust and abused it. And that's why people are upset. So it's not the fact that people don't know that this is possible. It's the fact that it's a lot of stuff that's possible. Like, like for instance, one thing that I have defended from day one is that we were told that the Omi token is very, very integrated into VV and that some Disney could not just buy VV without buying the Omi token. That's how integrated that it is. What if Disney buys VV, they just completely get rid of the Omi token? What happens at that point? We're going off a of trust in VV. If, if VV says something, if we're trusting VV, we should be able to trust them. We shouldn't have to worry that, okay, maybe maybe the Omi token will just go away if if the company gets bought. They said that they would never sell. What if they sell? Like, if we have to start questioning everything we've been told, where's the trust and how long is this community going to last when you don't know if you can trust what's coming out of people's mouths? Hey, I think that it's, it's, it's a lot deeper than just, eh, well, we technically all agree. We agree that, we could, that this could happen. It's weird, but let's see. Let's kind of skip through off people who help them uh, build the project. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, but I think I think the big issue here is that people didn't know about it, and people are finding out about it now because we got the IMX. So, like, if there's anything else that's going on, maybe Vivi, you guys should let let the the community know ahead of time before it comes out through IMX. Because just when when people find out through other avenues rather than through your direct communication. I think it's a little bit of a bad taste in people's mouths. And there's there's some prominent figures. I'm not going to go through who they, who they are, whatever. You go read that Twitter feed. You'll see um, some people who I've seen as as pure moon boys getting upset. And um, it's 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 something that a lot of people are talking about. And it's not the best thing for people to be talking about because the way that it's being talked about is maybe in a in a shady, shady way. But I mean, like like Rob said, we know that Vivi is going to do what they want. They've proven it. They've shown it. They've they've done airdrops and not delivered the airdrop and then not commented on it. They've not said anything yeah. on a lot of them. We had Blue and Beta. Yeah. There was no mention of why there was Seeker and Ultra Air when the article had different writing. There's things that they do that they're not going to explain to you guys. Uh, you have to understand this. And like Rob brought up a perfect example. There's 
there's items in their terms of services basically say that they're going to they can do what they want. They own everything that you own real, realistically, like that you think you own. They own it all. And, what is ownership? They can, we, exactly. We did um, videos on this. What is ownership? We we don't have our private keys. Yeah. It, so it's something they, they. I guess now we're understanding the perspective from the crypto purists. Now we're understanding the perspective from the crypto purist because cryptocurrency and NFTs and stuff like this, this is this whole space is supposed to solve these problems. And now VV is doing things that's displaying why it's a problem in the first place. I mean, this could go this could go a lot of different ways. I'm just sitting back chilling. I still believe that IP is king, but I don't like cause like I said, everybody who's here to live through this situation right now, it's going to be forgotten. This this is going to be buried by them dropping Pokemon and dropping a bunch of marketing and stuff like that and rebuilding a whole community. Like they could easily rebuild a whole community. So this is going to get swept under the rug. But this is why if you're lucky enough to be in early, make the right decisions because you're replaceable, which means you see stuff like this, jot it down and prepare yourself, put yourself in position where you can't be impacted by things like this or you're as protected as possible. Mitigate your risk. As an investor, it's important for you to mitigate your risk. This project doesn't love you no matter how much you want to love it. This project doesn't love you. Understand why you're here. If you're just here for a good time, cool. It's perfect if you get screwed. It doesn't matter. But if you're actually here to make money and make profit, like me, mitigate risk and be prepared for stuff like this so you don't get as heavily impacted by certain things. But let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I definitely want to hear some thoughts. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, fam.